Hello my beautiful Cancerians, how are you today? Welcome to my channel. My name is Donna Wilder Hart and we are getting started with your reading Cancer. What are the energies for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? I want to thank all of my subscribers. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. And I want to welcome all new visitors and cross watchers. Okay, look at this. Eight of Swords. You are really holding yourself back. You're all up in your head about something. This is self imposed restriction. You need to make a decision, and you're not ready to make a decision yet. We have that, the Knight of Wands energy about a love relationship. So you may be dealing with a Sagittarius energy that's been a little in and out. I'm getting you feel as though you have to make a decision, but you're not ready. Okay, Nine of Cups, beautiful. The energy of the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment, happiness, joyfulness. That was in the recent past. It looks as though you've had a lot of fun, a lot of just emotional, like best friends, throwing caution to the wind here, really having a good time with somebody. We have, we have Virgo energy. Somebody's really walking so slowly towards you that your feeling is you're beginning to wonder if they really ever will be serious with you. I like the Knight of Pentacles. That's Virgo energy. It usually is someone who will, who sort of quote unquote gets the job done. That's the sixth house. It does look as though your person may not have been in touch with you recently. I'm getting the five of coins energy, which indicates a no contact, feeling as though um, you're left in the cold. This is a Judge Judy card or the Libra Queen. You know, you may decide to cut this person out of your life. But again, I don't see you making the decision at this time. Okay, let's see what we have here. Your biggest fear is that this person is either taking you for granted or you feel as though they, they just aren't showing up, that you feel as though they may be disinterested in you, but that's only your worry. I don't see that as being the case. And here we go, Scorpio energy, reconciliation. Okay, so let's take a look and see what the clarifiers are for your reading. So why do you feel like you have to restrict yourself? So I don't think you're reaching out to this person. You're really, you're biding your time. You're watching what they're doing. You know, your feeling is, is that if they have to contact you, will you be happy if they contact you? Absolutely, because then you'll revert back to this really gorgeous energy of being excited and fulfilled. And we have the two queen of swords energy so you don't have to make a decision then and that's what you're hoping for you're hoping that if you do nothing your person will come forward why is the eight of swords energy here for our cancer friends temperance you want this to work out you want somebody who's going to come at you in a calm way that is sagittarius energy you are dealing with uh, many of you will be dealing with a fire sign and sagittarius energy is uh known as a bachelor so let's see what we have here why is the two of coins here? <laughs> i can't even make this up the two of coins is clarified by the two of coins and why do we have two a double we have four coins here people that's you wanting to hold on to this person. Yeah, you want to hold on. You you feel as though you might have to walk away. That if this person doesn't come through for you or with you, that you would have to leave them behind for something more satisfying. So why do we have the Knight of Wands? The Queen of Wands. You want this person to level up. You want them to pursue you. You want them to take like an attitude this attitude instead of like well maybe we'll hang out this weekend you're really hoping that they would say something like hey i there's a new play in town there's a nice restaurant there's a hip place to go for drinks let's do all of that and instead what you've gotten from this person is oh should we stay in and watch netflix that night now this person's full of laughter and happiness and you really love to be with them you really like that, but you feel as though you don't get a chance to do that. You feel as though they're off having fun with other people. The Three of Cups card, you feel as though they have other people that they hang around with. Why is the Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups here for you and how does it affect you? Yeah, here we go. Look at this again. We get, 
your person does not restrain themselves. It looks like they're very social. Um, it looks as though you're left, you feel left out in the cold. I don't think they invite you along on these jaunts. I feel as though for many of you, you probably have not met this person's friends or you haven't been introduced as a girlfriend. I get that they're very romantic. I get very, very sweet energy. I get Pisces energy, very dreamy, very romantic, quite lovely to be around. I mean, you, you look as though you would really like to have a much more solid, committed relationship here with this person. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Okay, well, I like that. That's the energy that shows that your person does want to do things the right way. It does, you know, what we see here is this is Taurus energy. This is a person who has traditional beliefs. Typically, the Virgo Knight of Pentacles does also. So this is very strong earth sign energy. So it does look as though your person is slow walking towards a deeper commitment with you. Why do we have the Queen of Swords here clarifying a Ten of Cups? Look at that, Ten of Cups. Interesting with the Nine of Cups, the Six of Cups. Okay, look at this. You're really fearful here that your person's a lightweight. You fear very much that they just will, will you know, ghost you or that they haven't been in contact. I feel as though for many of you, you haven't been in contact for a while. Why do we have this? Why do you feel left in the cold here? Because you're the Nine of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. For some of you, you may have started this relationship in a work environment, and maybe some socializing after work. For those of you who that, you know, won't be for everybody, but you want to be in a much deeper relationship with this person. You love them and you feel as though they don't love you back. This is reconciliation at Scorpio energy. What do we have here for our beautiful Cancerians? We have the Knight of Wands reversed, a good reversal. That is a very good reversal. So let's look and see. Now we have kind of a love story that's on stall. So let's see what this oracle has to say for your advice okay so let's see what the story is the backstory here because i get the two of you really not talking right now i like the energy going forward but for whatever reason you're just not talking right now wait for important information okay so there is important information coming about this person that you need to know Hold the space, beautiful energy. Hold space for this person, which is exactly what you're doing. That really helps us know that this person has a has a very high, high integrity level that your person's worth holding space for because this is a message from the Oracle. Okay, let's see what we have here. Drop your shields, okay. So it, it really is safe to be, uh, to not be so defensive, you know, drop your shields, let this person in, you know, because right now they may also be getting the message that you are unhappy with them. We have the queen of cups, we have, excuse me, we have the four of cups and the four of cups. That person looks bored. The fact that you're not really reaching out to them or talking to them um, makes them alerted or alert to the fact that they need to contact you. They understand the message, I will say that. Your advice is your hard work is paying off. This means that you're doing the right thing. Oh my goodness, I like that. This person needs the wake up call in a gentle way because what you're telling me, Pisces, is that you want them to notice that you're gone for a long period of time, at least long enough to make them miss you. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Let's see what the destiny cards have for you here, the journey cards. Okay. 
Let's see what spirit is trying to tell you about this journey that you're on with this person. Traveling lightly. Be very simple in your approach with them. Travel lightly. You know, don't... Um, Cancers, you know, we're usually, I have four cancer planets. We're usually very sentimental and very emotional. This person likes to have fun. This is a very, this is a very sweet person because we get them having water and earth signs here, cancer. And so we see someone who really likes to have fun, who has developed good friendships. They feel as though you're one of their best friends. Let's see what the energy is around this sort of, why haven't they, why have they been leaving you, sort of not contacting you? What is the reason this person has not been contacting you? I don't feel like it's an overly long time. But we shall see what we shall see. Okay, so why is this person quiet? The Six of Swords. So your person has been having a hard time with something. Six of Swords, for some of you, may even mean that they've had to move. We see a big storm cloud, and this is not anything to do with you. So your person looks as though they've been struggling somewhat. Queen of Wands energy. Nice, nice energy. Because a Queen of Wands with a Knight of Wands energy is somebody who's going to pursue you. Okay, great. Knight of Wands, okay, and Ten of Swords. So they have been in and out with you you're coming in here with queenly energy also you know you're really ready to level up so let's go ahead and see what we have for the energy here in terms of if your person's going to come at you the right way i feel as though they've gotten the message the two of you may have had a discussion or you may have said to this person that you're really you know you're looking for a more committed relationship and i feel as though they're hesitating right now not because they don't care about you because i get there's there's a lot of love here when i look at a tarot reading for most of you who watch tarot regularly there's a lot of love here we have the ten of cups the nine of cups more cups more love we have uh the reliability of the knight of pent the knight of pentacles you know we do have someone here who is may have some sagittarius energy um, but let's look and see how they feel about going to the next level with you because that six of cups is a reconciliation seven of earth they do value you your person does feel as though they want to invest in this relationship we have hold space for this person they're just slower than you that knight of pentacles is very slow energy okay and let's see what else we have there we go, messenger of fire. You're going to get a fiery, you know, you're going to get a very enthusiastic message. Messenger of fire will motivate the page of wands. This person will throw caution to the winds, Cancer. Beautiful energy. And here we go, three of water, the three of water again. The three of cups is the three of water. Your person is going to contact you soon. I, I get that your person is very much, you are their happy place. So this is a good strategy. I see for most of you, this has been very much a strategy of staying quiet. You know, you said whatever you had to say back here, the Ten of Swords put an end to this person being, you know, coming in and out. You stated it very beautifully. You were very kind in the way you did it. You simply said, you know, my goal is da 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 da. I don't know if we're on the same page. I hope we are. And in the meantime, it's been really fun. And, um, but that's what I get. So this person really took some time out. I get they had to figure out really in a very specific way what you wanted with them and what they wanted with you. And this outcome shows your person giving up player ways. It's reversed. And we have the Knight of Wands here. The reason that you have had this sort of forced separation by you, not them. Um, but they're moving this, this forward with you. And they're coming back at you by losing the player ways and coming in with this beautiful Six of Cups energy. This is, they want to grow old with you. We have the Hierophant 
is which is having a traditional relationship look at how beautiful those cards are the sun card you you bring them happiness joyfulness so i'm getting a beautiful outcome for you cancer good strategy hang in there sending you love from chicago send some back it's been a joy being with you today if you do like this please like subscribe share and comment and ring the notifications bye bye cancer